Hello and welcome to the show. Donald Trump's older sister Elizabeth has a bit of a lower profile than his other siblings, namely Marianne Trump Barry, a federal court judge, and businessman Robert Trump. Elizabeth Trump Grow may fly under the radar, but it is still very much a Trump. In the expansive and explosive New York Times story on Trump and his siblings' alleged tax scams, Trump Grow is barely mentioned. But in a statement from a Trump lawyer who denies the entire searing and searching year-long investigation and article has been false, 100% false, the facts upon which the Times bases its false allegations are extremely inaccurate. All estate matters were handled by licensed attorneys, licensed CPOs, CPAs and licensed real estate appraisers who followed all laws and rules strictly. But the lawyer for Trump, Charles J. Harder, goes further. He said in a statement to the Times that if anyone was involved, it wasn't him, it was his family. The affairs were handled by other Trump family members who were not experts themselves and therefore relied entirely upon the aforementioned licensed professionals to ensure full compliance with the law, Harder wrote. The Times investigation found that Trump and his siblings set up a sham corporation dis to disguise millions of dollars in gifts from their parents. The Times investigation discovered that Trump patriarch and matriarch, Fred and Mary Trump, transferred well over $1 billion in wealth to their children, which could have produced a tax bill of at least $550 million under the 55% tax rate then imposed on gifts and inheritances. The Trumps paid a total of $52.2 million, or about 5%, tax records show. Robert Trump told the Times his parents' estate matters were squared away by the Internal Revenue Service years ago and all taxes were paid. In the Times piece, Donald, Robert and Marianne Trump were executors. Elizabeth was not named as an executor, according to the Times. As their father's executors, Donald, Marianne and Robert were legally responsible for the accuracy of his estate tax return. It's not clear if Trump Grow was interviewed. Indeed, there's just two references to her in the entire story, including from when she showed up with her brothers and sister to a 2003 Trump Tower meeting, where among other businesses, business profits were distributed to each Trump. It's been reported that New York tax officials are reviewing the allegations that Trump received more than $400 million from his father, Fred Trump's New York real estate business via what the paper deemed questionable tax practices. A Showtime documentary airs Sunday about the Times investigation. Filmmakers followed reporters for a year as they followed the money and paper. But here's what you need to know about Elizabeth Joan Trump Grow. 1. Elizabeth Joan Trump was born in Queens, New York in 1942 to Fred and Elizabeth Trump. Her brother Donald would be born four years later. Elizabeth Joan Trump grew up in the Jamaica Estates neighborhood of Queens. She attended the Kew Forest School in Forest Hills bordering Kew Gardens, the very small and very private independent co-ed college prep school for grades kindergarten to 12th grade, was also attended by her younger brother, the now President of the United States. The 100-year-old school was established in 1918 primarily for the upper middle class residents of Forest Hills and Kew Gardens. Elizabeth Joan Trump would go on to attend Southern Seminary College, now known as Southern Virginia University. 2. Married to James Grow in 1989, Elizabeth Trump was an administrative assistant at Chase Manhattan Bank. In a New York Times wedding announcement from 1989, readers learned that at the Marble Collegiate Church in New York, Elizabeth Joan Trump, a daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Fred C. Trump of Jamaica Estates, Queens, was married yesterday to James Walter Grow, the son of the late Mr. and Mrs. Walter Grow of Dayton, Ohio. The Reverend Dr. Arthur Caliandro, a Methodist minister, performed the ceremony. Judge Marianne Trump Barry of Federal District Court in Newark, the bride's sister, was the matron of honor and James W. Barry Grow, the bridegroom's son, was the best man. The developer, Donald J. Trump, a brother of the bride and president and chief executive officer of the Trump Organization in New York, was an usher. The Times reported in 1989 that Grow was a graduate of Northwestern University and that his first marriage ended in divorce. On his website, Grow said he graduated from NYU. Number three. She bought a Hamptons mansion in 1996 for $1.2 million and sold it in 2017 for $3.8 million to a New York bankruptcy lawyer. 
The mansion that sits on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean at 87 Dune Road in the village of Weshampton Beach sold for $3,718,500 in 2017. Nestled on just over half an acre, the 4,123 square foot residence with five bedrooms, six baths, a heated in ground pool, two fireplaces, perched on the ocean front, was sold by Trump Growl to New York bankruptcy attorney Kenneth Eckstein. Sotheby's handled the sale. It had been previously put on the market in 2016 for $5.5 million, but the price was continuously lowered until Eckstein's purchase. Trump Growl purchased and then recently built house in 1996 for 1.29 million dollars. Trump Grow also is reported to own a house in the enclave around Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, near where her sister Trump Barry owned a home that she sold to a corporation created by her nephews Eric and Donald Trump Jr. for 18.25 million last year. Trump Grow's house is in the same area that the Palm Beach Post reported is closed to traffic when Trump is in town, Ocean Drive near Woodbridge Road. Number four, her husband was director of entertainment at Trump's Mar-a-Lago. According to his IMDb page and his own website, which does not appear to have been updated of late, Grau has held various positions in sales, marketing, production management in the cable broadcast information fields and ethnic media. A graduate of New York University's Titch School of the Arts, he began his career at Charisma Communications, an advertising agency and a production company. Grau developed marketing and advertising campaigns for CBS Sports, CBS Radio, CBS News, Rolex Watch Company, IBM, at t and Bristol Myers. His website lists his accomplishments as including winning an Emmy Award for producing the 1983 Super Bowl um, 16 show opening titles. She's, he's also listed on IMDb as having done sound for what appears to be a German horror flick. His site also says he has developed, managed, distributed and launched several international television networks with programming targeted towards the ethnic population in the United States and Canada. It's been reported he once served as the director of entertainment for Mar-a-Lago. According to a report, he created programs earning the highest awards and accolades and has 11 productions in the Museum of Television and Radio. He served as the entertainment director of Donald Trump's world-renowned Mar-a-Lago club, Palm Beach, Florida, and as executive producer of contemporary concerts for the Trump Organization. A press release from 2014, Grau created programs earning the highest awards and accolades and has 11 productions in the Museum of Television and Radio. He served as the entertainment director of Donald Trump's world-renowned Mar-a-Lago Club, Palm Beach FL, and as executive producer of contemporary concerts for the Trump Organization. Number five, Trump Grau hosted Safari Night at Mar-a-Lago for charity Young Adventurers, which says its movement is for all of us to be great again. Young Adventurers hasn't done much in a decade or more, but one couldn't tell from its website with President Donald Trump on the homepage and a new mission statement that incorporates the words great again as part of its new movement. We were founded in 1992 as a non-profit 501c3 organization. Through the years we have served over 12,000 young people and their families all across America and around the world, the group says on its website. Its financials show that in 2006, for example, it took in less than $100,000 and spent around that to keep it up and running. In preparation for its safari night at Mar-a-Lago with Trump Grau as she and her husband are referred, the charity updated its mission. Now we are embarking on an exciting strategy to reach a new generation of millennials. America is a great country. America is the land of the free and the home of the brave. And how will they know it if no one shows them? We're starting a movement for all of us to be great again. It starts with you. We need your help and hope that you will get involved. Non-profit database GuideStar says the charity based in Palm Beach has been in existence since 1993, is listed in the cause category of sports training facilities, but has not provided a mission statement to GuideStar. The Washington Post reported that following his election, Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club more than a dozen charity events. 
but Trump Grail booked a new gala event put on by a small previously dormant charity that was encouraged to use the site by Trump's sister. The last Young Adventurers Mar-a-Lago fundraiser before 2018 event was in 2011, with the Trump Grails inex inexplicably Kato, Kalen in attendance. Thank you. <laughs>